In 1997, an American high school student was shot and killed near his home in West Texas by a team of United States Marines. When I arrived, the body was lying in this area where I'm standing. I was covered by an army blanket. Don't tell me how to do my job. Don't sit here and criticize me for what I did. The man put his weapon down range. Our Marines, our Marines took him out. Marines are trained to kill. That's where our specialty is. I think in my position, you have man down friendly or enemy over. We were pretty well camouflaged. We were pretty well covered. So I could see why Hernandez would never seen us. In South Texas last night, an American was killed by U.S. Marines. Those kinds of things could happen. I'm not saying it would never happen. They could happen. Again, you have to balance it off against the security of the nation. When we uh, detect someone coming across the border, we can't tell if it's an immigrant or a drug smuggler or a terrorist. Uh, and it doesn't really matter. And if any of you want to talk with your member of Congress, urge them to sign on a bill that will authorize troops on the border in peacetime to help preserve and protect the integrity of the United States of America. In 2006, the George W. Bush administration sent armed troops back to the border for the first time since the 1997 shooting. Once the military is involved in the in the death of a civilian. There has to be some accountability. We need to know why. And we don't need cover-ups. We don't need interference. We need the truth. And we didn't get it. 